Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, a crafty channel. This is episode 93, and I'm Daphne. <laughs> and I'm Erica, and we are a mother-in-law, daughter-in-law duo from Delaware. So hey, how you doing? Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2024. It's 12.32 yep. for us. Yep. And um, we're here for our weekly um, crafty update. So I just have knitting. I have knitting and crochet. All right. And um, just, oh, uh, our first video, which was our Rose Opal Knits introduction, was uploaded on December 31st of 2019. So we have been doing this, having fun here with um, you guys since 2019, for December 31st, 2019. So what's four years? It's our four year anniversary, mm -hmm. our pot anniversary. <laughs> and um, I don't know, we just got a lot of stuff done and had a lot of fun. So thank you. For being part of that if you're returning we really appreciate you and um you know we love having conversations with you in the comments and in our discord group and if you are new here we hope you stick around and you like what you see um if you are new here i'm erica the mother-in-law daphne is married to my oldest son and uh, my husband and i have four children three sons 27, 20, and 15, and we have a daughter, she is seven, and I'm a homeschooling mom. Uh, we have four kids, too. We have three boys, one girl, but ours are, for the boys, it's four, he's almost five, but four, two, and he will be eight months tomorrow, and then Paisley, my daughter, is three, so, mm -hmm. and they're not at school age yet, so <clears throat> we're just at home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we are a multi-generational household, so we all live together <laughs> under one roof and it's crazy and fun and loud and, you know, all the things you can imagine. So, um, and we just try to keep it real around here. There's actually no other way we could do it. We couldn't even pretend. <laughs> so yeah. things are the way they are. That's how we like it. We get interrupted. Mm -hmm. You hear people downstairs. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. So. But, um kind of just a chaotic mess that mm -hmm. works out <laughs> yeah yeah it's not it's not too too chaotic but you know it has its moments yeah um so if you um watch us during vlogmas thank you we enjoyed that and um like i said we're gonna now gonna have weekly episodes so they'll probably upload monday evenings or tuesday morning and um that's gonna be the schedule we stick to so we do weekly updates that are a little bit shorter um, cause that works better for the editing and my schedule. And then twice a month we, sh there, I should put up a, um, cross stitch diary type vlog, um, episodes. That's my goal for this year. <laughs> and, um, so, but right now we're going to go ahead and get into the crafty goodness. And along the way, we'll talk about, um, knit alongs, make alongs that we're doing and, um, things like that. Well, first, let me say I am wearing a sweatshirt from Dog Mom Knits Spread Shop. I don't know if she still has this design in her spread shop, if she even still has a spread shop. I bought it over a year ago, I think. But um, it says Christian Knitter. And I'll put a link to her YouTube channel below. And um, if you don't know Dog, Dog Mom Knits, and uh, she does have a YouTube channel, she's on Instagram. And, um, we also have a spread shop. You can find that on our channel <laughs> too. Yeah, um, all our links this, are below, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All our notes and links and everything will be below. And so now we'll go into, well, you're not wearing anything handmade or. Like, I got socks on. They're plain vanilla. Shorty <laughs> socks. PK a, or vanilla. They are fingering held double on a US4 and they are. Sarkinelles, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Well, you're not even showing them. No, I'm not going to. They're old. <laughs> They're what, like 
two years old almost. Oh, yeah, you don't okay. want to see them. They're fine. <laughs> but I'm not going to show you my foot. I'm wearing socks, okay? You guys have seen them before. Mm -hmm. Don't know if they're on my Ravelry page or not, but you guys have seen them. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So I don't have any finished objects. Do you? Oh, I have two. Oh, and we are just picking up where our last Vlogmas episode ended. So we're not going back and oh, showing. Say, wait a minute. I thought you meant like last podcast episode. No, no, Even no. Even you said no. Vlogmas. Yeah, no. Uh -uh. I was like, yeah, whatever we stuff. finished during Vlogmas is left in the Vlogmas <laughs> realm. <laughs> like we didn't. A lot of that, I mean, a lot of your finishes were gifted anyway. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I don't really have much of anything mm -hmm. that I did. So. Yeah. I mean, I do have all Holden stuff, but mm -hmm. that's it, pretty yeah. much. But all I right. do have two finishes. All right, go ahead. Talk about it. <laughs> go ahead. Fresh, fresh, right? Anyway, <clears throat> you just leave them dried. But this is my brother's hat. It's the um, Everywhere hat by Knitting Miss Pearly. It's a free pattern. It's just like reverse stockinette and ribbed. It's free on her website. But I did knit it longer than the pattern recommended because my brother wanted it like slouchy and I used DK weight. So I think it's like an Aran weight pattern actually. And so instead of casting on what she recommends, I kind of morphed the Rafa's hat by Hohi Locatelli with the... Would you use the Rafa hat numbers? Yeah. Okay. So they're both free patterns, mm -hmm. totally available to everyone. Hohi's is on Ravelry as far as I know. I don't know if she has anything else. But... So I cast on for the large Rafa's hat and then followed similar formula to the Knitting Knitting Pearly. Pearly. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, a morph. I think <laughs> but I like so it. This it looks is, good. Yeah, I got to give it to him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it looks like what he wanted. So, but the yarn, I'm not going to show my bag. It's a Molly Klein bag that needs some OxyClean on it. It does. It, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's four years old, okay? Five years old. It's five years old. But anyways, I used a US 5, which is a 3.75 millimeter. And I used my Leica needles. So the yarn, like, there's some sort of pop. And so it's just boring. I still got bored of it. Just because it's like black yarn, you know? So it's like kind of not boring, but you know what I mean. But this is my yarn. It is black sheep yarns in the cast iron, I think, is the color. It's their black one. Wait, you totally lost me. You used your colorful needles so you'd have a pop of color yeah, while you so were knitting. Yeah, so it wasn't so okay. boring. It didn't really work, though. <laughs> I also had a cute little white flower on it. That's not on... I, yeah, it's not even on there. I was down here. The, you're a progress keeper. That's because yeah. you blocked it. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. down here. And you so. said it's still a little damp? Yeah, it, it is. is. I need mm -hmm. to let it dry the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't put my needles away. That bag is gross. Yeah. It's a white bag. What did you spill coffee on it? I don't know. My kids get my bags. <laughs> I don't know what's on it. Okay. We're not going to show it. You guys have seen it. It's gross. Okay. You don't want to. But anyways. It's a cute the... bag. It's got narwhals. It's cute. Yeah. It's Mason's bag because like his baby theme was narwhals. So, you know, so I have a narwhal bag for him. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, my next next project that's finished is my sister's boyfriend's christmas gift that is late and he knows about it so it's okay but it's a little dallas cowboy gnome he's cute too <laughs> he's his little football. i love his little football he's cute mm -hmm. and All you found the... this pattern on etsy yeah i forgot to pull up the pattern here it's like gnome planet or something like that I can go find it really quick okay you find it um but the up. yarn is all the sardar snuggly or happy and it's just 100% acrylic yarn, not acrylic, cotton yarn in DK weight. And I don't have all the colors memorized at all, but they're, it's just navy blue and white. And then like their tan color. Yeah, Gnome Planet on Etsy. Look at them. Here, I'm going to show this. Look at how cute these gnomes are. I'm trying not to get Oh, scared. they are cute. They're so cute. Um, Look at that guy. <clears throat> I want that guy. <laughs> the Viking. <laughs> yeah. The Viking. No. I want the Viking. Um, yeah. So they're super cute. Apparently they're on sale right now too for 70% off. Oh, that wow. Yeah. Ooh, look at this one. Sorry. This one is so cute. Look at the little pumpkin pie. Oh, <laughs> that is cute. They're really cute though. That's so, on Etsy. But then, so the beard is Hobby Lobby's Naturals in the white, whatever that one is, you know. So there's like four different shades. One's like gray, I think. One's tan and one's black or darker. It's probably more like a darker 
natural color, not black. Mm -hmm. But so I used that for the arachne sweater two years ago. Mm -hmm. But then so I took it and cut it. And then these are hair curlers. But I don't use these ones. These ones are too small. But anyway, so I took them to like separate it, you know, to brush it out. Oh, that was good. They're like vel they're Velcro. -ish. Yeah, because somebody left a comment and said try Velcro. Yeah. So yeah, that was so, good. That was a good um good suggestion. Yeah, and I was like, well, I have hair curlers, so there's just yarn all mm -hmm. in them, but I don't use them, so it's okay. Yeah. They'll just be stuck in my craft tote. Uh huh. So, but yeah. Very cute. I my think he'll like it. Boyfriend will get. He liked it. I showed him. Oh, like, okay. Because I was like, I have. Buzz on now my you lip. have yarn in your lip. <laughs> yeah, but um, Christmas he was there, you know, and I was like, "Look, I have a gift for you. It's late. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to you." And I was like, "You can see what it is. Like, I mean, I had it with me too. Like the bag. Mm -hmm. It's in an advent bag from, from last, last year, year from her. From well, from twenty twenty two. Yeah, because twenty twenty three is now last yeah. year. <laughs> Anyways, so I showed him it, and he laughed, and he's like, "I really like that." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "I will get it to you. You just." have to give me a little time mm -hmm. so tomorrow is the first time I'm gonna see my sister since Christmas because we all got sick and then we kind of like stopped yeah going out like right after our last vlogmas video that night I don't know if you heard my daughter you probably did yeah she, she was like up. she was like bye <laughs> And Daphne was like, oh, and uh, she actually had a really bad episode that night. And my husband ended up taking her to the emergency room and she was there for a set, like about seven hours. She had to have an x-ray, nebulizer treatment with steroid, and they just monitor her. But she was able to come home and open her presents Christmas morning. So that was a blessing. But we were, we, we made it through. We're all like... Some of the little kids still have um, a runny nose. I'm still congested there, yeah. too. Like, yeah. everyone's still congested and coughing. Uh -huh. But it's, like, but... a lot more mild than it was before, so. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to ask, what's what's in here? Piece of cardboard. Piece of cardboard. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's... You can... what, the pattern says to use cardboard. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's hard. So... That, that gives it And, stability. like, it's just polyfill mm -hmm. inside, in case anyone's wondering, okay. from Michael's. But I also have... Okay. Out of the polyfill... The one at Hobby Lobby is, like, stringier. I don't know how, like, it's, mm. like, it's more like stuffing. But mm. the polyfill from Michael's is more, like, airy. Hmm. So if I anyone, don't I don't, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but there is a big difference between the two. And I think I prefer the Michael's one over the stringy, fluffier one. Hmm. I don't know why. I just, I think I prefer the one from Michael's. Hmm. Okay. So... And I'm almost out of the ones from Michael's. <laughs> so do you have any more finished objects? No, that's all. All right. How many whips do you have? I have three. I have three whips, too. All right. So Let I'll talk. <laughs> I'll start since um, you just talked. But in my bag by um, Amy of Noble Character Crafts, this is a project you've seen before. I have my brother-in-law's socks. I said in Vlogmas that I didn't feel like working on my brother-in-law's <laughs> socks. And then, you know, I had a little discussion with myself and it was like, well, you're not going to feel like knitting on them, right? <laughs> and um, you have all these other great patterns that you want to knit on. So why don't you just knit on your brother-in-law's socks? This is, this is me talking to myself <laughs> until they're done. And then you won't have to worry about them anymore. And you won't have like that lingering, I should be working on Brian's <laughs> socks in the back of my head. So I did. I picked them up and... I didn't knit on them exclusively, um, but they are f further. So this is the yarn that I'm using, the main color, and it is, that's the name. Where do you get this? Uh, from the yarn store down in Bethany. Oh, okay. I'm like, hey, you go to the yarn shop here. Let me hold yeah, down. but I forget what it's called. And it's mainly a cross-stitch Mm -hmm. needle workshop but they do sell like um basic like sock yarns and stuff mm -hmm. um, i've been there once they really, oh, really? Gonna, yeah told you i went there oh yeah yeah we yeah. went there um when i was pregnant with theo we all went down to ocean city Is it like sea me needles? and my it's sea yeah, needles right me and like my guys mm -hmm. went down to ocean city and on the way back up we stopped there oh okay and i went in there and i was like oh yeah. There's, there's not much yarn. So it's I was mainly like, eh, cross -stitch. I'm okay. Yeah. We, we walked the boardwalk for a little bit. Well, yeah. Somewhere. At Rehoboth? There. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because like, I was going to say, there. Ocean City um, actually has like a full, like a big 
cross stitch store, but I don't think mm, they maybe had that's yarn what in I'm it. talking about then. Yeah, I may have never been there. Um, so the markers are where I was the last time that I showed them. I'm knitting them two at a time on separate needles, and um, now I am in the heel flap. It's not as bright as it sh it's showing up, is it? It's pretty bright, though. I mean, it, it's a little, it's showing up a little, but that's better, I think. Mm -hmm. Up closer, it was real bright. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the right color. So I decided, I knit a fish lips kiss heel for my sister-in-law's socks, but I decided to, to knit a heel flap and gusset for my brother-in-law because he's got the Saint super wide feet. <laughs> so um, I feel like a heel flap and gusset works better for wide feet. But anyway, so that's where I am. So if I make it through the heel flap and the gusset within the next day or two, then I'll just be able to, you know, hopefully get through the foot quickly. Mm -hmm. And What size does he wear? Like, how long are you going to knit it, I guess, is the better question. A 12. He wears a, men, a men's US 12. And I cast it on 72 stitches on a US 1.5 needle, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle. And that's, right, that's all the information. What size does Chris wear? He wears a 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you're basically knitting a pair of socks in their size. Yeah, so oh. I've never knit my husband a pair of fingering weight socks, though. He likes thicker socks. Oh, yeah. So, all right. You want to talk about one? Yeah. I had to figure out which bag it was in. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> so the other two you guys haven't seen, but this one you have. This is a bag by um, Delightful Susan. Works, which mm -hmm. is, who is Susan. But We have um, her information in the description box below. Last time I checked, she was on break, though. Oh, okay. I don't know. I like to go check out the shops that we, like, talk yeah. about a lot and, like, look at what they have, you know, because mm -hmm. it's exciting. But last time I checked, I think I checked, like, last week, and it was on she's break probably right on now, which break. makes sense, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. it's... But anyway, so this is Chris's sock that's been on the needles for a while. One's done. Yeah, I'll hold this one up. These are his birthday present that was on November For November, 3rd. yeah. November 3rd. Here's one. It's done, and I'm there. I have 40 rounds, less than 40 rounds, actually. Like 36 rounds till the toe. <laughs> these um, these <laughs> colors are like are not colors, but this sock isn't like bringing you joy when you knit it. No, either, it's right? not. It's not. And I just need. So I basically told myself just finish the stuff, recast on anything, and we will all see in a second that that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so I was in. I had just started the heel flap. I had like three stitches, started the heel flap. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> this is where I'm at. And so that's marking the 20th round. Guess it's done. I just need to knit 36-ish mm -hmm. rounds. Mm -hmm. and, then and then a, a toe. And then a star toe. <laughs> yep. And so I cast on 54 stitches. So I had to like mess with the heel a little bit and tweak it just a little bit so I couldn't do a slip, slip stitch heel so it's just a plain stuck knit, neck. yeah stock neck mm -hmm. stitch heel so just because it's fingering held double so this these are two yarns held double I actually have them see I don't switch up my numbers when I hold fingering double but Daphne has because we put our DK weight recipe on the uh, website with different toes and stuff but after we did that Daphne switched hers up I only do it when I'm holding it double because I go up a needle size. I go up to a US4. Mm -hmm. So it changes my gauge quite mm -hmm. a bit because so I didn't like the so feel she did, of it. So you decrease what? Four, four stitches when you do that? Is it four? Four. Or two stitches? For what? What are we talking about now? When you go up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about now? I'm very confused. Yes. So I only go down two stitches because I feel like two that's, stitches. that's plenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's plenty. Because it's just a slightly bigger, looser gauge, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just go down two stitches and it fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. But then that means I have to switch up the heel slightly. So I did that and it's fine. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, how to switch it up. A US 4 is a 3.5 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And I dropped my other ball. So hold on. Oh. But anyway, so these are from an advent that I got from Happy Little Yarn, who is also on YouTube. It was a D-stash, right? Yes, it was a D-stash. This is Mesa Skein's advent of 2022, I think. Maybe 2021. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. One of Mesa Skein's advents from one of those few years. But, mm -hmm. so I don't have color names, but those are, that's this. Mm -hmm. And this one has, like, very, very slight speckling of green right there. Mm -hmm. It's like a... 
yellowy green. A happy little yarn has a YouTube channel too, so we'll link her channel down mm -hmm. below. So that's the contrast, which I hope I have enough for the toe. Yeah. But then this is Barocco Vintage. I don't know if I have the tag. I do. Which I got from Yarn Maven. Mm -hmm. And it is the Douglas fir color. Mm -hmm. The green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, so it's the there. Douglas. I mean, it's the Douglas fir. It's the Barocco Vintage like sock. Mm -hmm. so. so it's um wool, acrylic, and nylon is what the combination is. So, mm -hmm. But I like the yarn. But the yarn held double. I've used Barocco Vintage DK for socks and he really liked it. But... I don't it. love the fingering held double. Gotcha. Which, I mean, it's just because of the acrylic in it. You know what I mean? So it's making it a little bit more stiff than yeah, 7525 mm -hmm. Superwash Merino Nylon that we normally use. Yeah. So. I can see that. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It will get done. It will yeah. get done. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll have it done by the third. So let's not say that. I won't do it. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't like to knit or make things for other people when I'm not enjoying it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. When I lose the joy for it, it's like, just, a t like, I feel like I shouldn't put that energy into it yet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> right. And another bag by Amy of Noble Character Crafts. And actually, she has a YouTube channel too, so we mm -hmm. will put her um, link to her channel down below, um, is a new cast on that I think I talked about during Vlogmas. So this is the Sophie Scarf Scarf by Petite Knits. Oh, that's so pretty. And I am using souvenir yarn that I bought when I went to Lidditz PA. And I said it was called Catfish. It's called Cat Trout. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah, Cat Trout. It's 100% uh, merino wool, superwash merino, um, in the Peddler colorway. And it's just gorgeous. It is so pretty. So I cast it on um, for the largest size. Or that's what I'm going to do, because I think it's the same cast on for mm -hmm. both sides. Yeah, but I'm going to do the largest I think it's size. just you increase, basically, mm -hmm. until yeah, a certain, certain number. amount, and then mm -hmm. you decrease. Yep, and um, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the edging. But this is how far I've gotten. And actually, <laughs> so pretty. it's not very... It, I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but I feel like I've done quite a few <laughs> repeats. Um, I've done... Nine. I've done Ooh. nine repeats so far, and this is where it is. So it is definitely, you know, one of those closer fitting, like, like neck wraps. Uh, a scarf. It's a, you know, but it's like um, an ascot. There you go. I was trying to figure out the word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, um, so, but anyway, if I have enough left over, um, I might try to like knit fingerless mitts. Or something to go with it. Um, but I don't know. It's a DK, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how much I'll have left over. So we're just going to, I'm just going to follow the pattern and what I have left over, I'll decide what I do with then. But I am knitting it on a US 7, I think, which is a 4.5 millimeter needle. Yep. That's correct. <laughs> and what's your next project? Um, okay. So I said I wasn't going to cast anything on like... Same day, right? I was like, I'm not going to cast anything on. I'm going to finish these three projects, those three that I just showed. I finished two, mm -hmm. not before I cast on anything else. I then cast on and then decided, oh, you should go back. But anyway, <laughs> so I was sitting there and I watched um, those twins who knit the other day and they were going through their um, accessories from all of 2023. Right, so I was like watching and they were talking about socks and I was like, oh, those socks are so pretty, I need them. But then I was like, no, I can't cast anything on. But then I was sitting there and I kept thinking about the socks, you know, and I was like, I want those socks. So in this Vera Bradley bag, that's a makeup bag that Julie gave me, <laughs> um, it's a pair of socks that I cast on. And so it's the, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Did we did we decide how we should pronounce it? Let me go. Let no, me I don't think. I don't think. So. I don't know. It's um a u n i. Oh, and I said Ani. Nope. How would you pronounce that? Now look at look at this. Nupu. No, I don't know. Why I'm not just showing you. There's the glare. Yeah, there you try go. it that way. Mm -hmm. Those are the socks, and they're so cute. But of course, I'm not going like basic tonally color so i decided there's a dk and a fingering weight 
version, I'm doing DK, and I decided to use the Rose Opal sock set on the DK base from Sweet Mountain. Sweet Mountain Yarn? What is her name? I'm. I liking. would say. Sweet Mountain Yarn. Okay, I was going to say, I don't want to get her name wrong. So she dyed this yarn specifically for our podcast. It's no longer available, right? Yeah. But there are, like, the contrast colors, so the Daphne and Erica colors. But, so this is it. This is a Rose Opal Knits set. I would say Ani is... by Nupu Nupu. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is how far I am. So I did the little bobbles, and yeah, those are bobbles. Yeah, they're bobbles. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're showing that on that side. I know, I yeah. realize. Uh-huh. But anyways, look at it. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. But it's so pretty, right? And so this is the main color, right? Which is rose opal, basically. And then these are the Daphne is yellow, and then Erica is orange. So the decided I'm going to stripe it, stripe the orange through, leave the heel as the regular slip stitch in the rose opal, and then the toe will be in the Daphne. Mm-hmm. And That's if she so runs exciting. out of the Erica and the Daphne, we have it in fingering weight yep. too, so she can just switch to double. Yep, I still have double. some. After making those gnomes, mm-hmm. and two pairs of socks, two pairs of socks, with the yarn, my original um, fingering weight sock set, I still have yarn left over. Like, I don't know how. I don't understand it, but I do, so. Those gnomes are dusty. I don't know if you can see, like, the dust flying around now. Those are old. How yeah. old are they? They've got to be at least two, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I made them in 2022. Oops. That's okay. I'm you done. can stay there. Yeah. All right. And in this basket, or tote, whatever you want to call it, um... <laughs> that Julie gave me my advent skeins in is my new cast, another new cast on, my husband's blanket. So if you watch <laughs> Vlogmas, you'll know that I caught my husband snuggled up with my Habitation Thorough from <laughs> Advent of 2022. The original Advent. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fun. It's the original Advent. I didn't even think about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> and... My seven-year-old daughter actually walked into my bedroom and she came out real quick and she said, Mom, Dad's asleep with your blanket. <laughs> no one's allowed to touch it. <laughs> so um, so I said, why are you sleeping with my blanket? You have your own blankets. And he's like, I'd really like one just like that. So, um, and he, he's so funny. He called it tie-dyed. <laughs> I'd like tie-dyed like that. Um, so... I decided to use this year's Advents, um, well, Julie's Advents, because Julie gave me 12 days of two 10-gram minis. So I have a total of 24 10-gram minis from this year's Advent. And then I have lots of 10-gram minis from the year or half a year, however long it was, that I subscribed to row one. So these are all 10-gram minis. So I'm going to use those till they're gone. And then I'll gauge the size of the blanket and see what I need to add to it. Um, And this is my start. I'm not doing a habitation throw. (laughs) I decided just to cast on 302 stitches. My husband's six foot two and, you know... Are you just using it until it probably I probably made it wider than it needed to be. I probably could have just cast it on like 250 or 260 stitches and it would have been fine. But I was feeling ambitious. So I cast it on 302. Um, So this is what I have so far. I have used two 10 gram minis and I'm working on the third. So this was from Julie's Advent. And this one is actually from Julie's Advent too. It is the Knitted Wit First Day of Christmas color. And then (laughs) the third color I am using is this one. It's a rose. No. It's a row one mini from (laughs) Barnyard Knits. That one's pretty. It is pretty. Um, So that's what I'm working on now. And I figure if I knit two, two to four, you know, rows a day, that's my goal. Um... I should be able to work through 20 grams a week or maybe, you know, we'll see. 
Because mm -hmm. I want to gift it to him for Christmas of 20, this year, 2024. So it's Barnyard Knits Honeycomb is the colorway. <laughs> I'm keeping the tags in here. Um, and actually, this first color was not 10 grams. It was a... It's Universal Yarn uni merino mini and it was a bigger a bigger ball i want to say it's 25 grams was that in one of the days i don't know <laughs> i can't remember now it's all a blur yes yeah, 25 25 grams so i used this at the beginning and it's going to be the last color i put into so cast on with it and cast off with it <laughs> um you know i did also think since my husband didn't say like it needed to go from his head to his feet i did think that since it is so wide that maybe he could just use it this way mm -hmm. and have the stripes it going. will stretch out too yeah though, you know have the stripes go vertical mm -hmm. we'll just see we'll see what i decide near yeah. the end you know what i mean um so that's that that's my last project that i've worked on this week i have one more an adult theme collection bag. So this was supposed to be my cast on for today, but I started it yesterday, <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But anyway, so in Vlogmas, I decided to rip out my whole my my Holden, my <laughs> husband's original blanket. My, mm, that's not even the original. Which was a garter stitch. Yeah, that blanket. one's been through it. Okay, mm. I've had that yarn for what maybe three or four years mm -hmm. at this point. It's been a while, mm -hmm. basically. So I ripped it out. Again, this is the second time I've ripped it out. Mm -hmm. But Hold on, we are being summoned. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so ripped it out twice. He's the same yarn. I'm knitting it right now because mm -hmm. I thought it was going to take longer, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I was on the US 11 originally, and I was just doing garter stitch. I had like 300 stitches or something like that, you know, because he wants a queen size blanket because he's 6'4". I'm very, like, he's like, I want a big blanket. And I'm like, what? I want a big blanket? But he doesn't want crochet, you know, like, that'd be quicker. No, he wants a knit blanket. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. A knit blanket. But, so that blanket was not bringing me joy at all. And I was like, I don't, like, it's been sitting. I have not worked on it, you know. So yeah. I was like, let me try again. <laughs> again, again, you know. So I started the Sweet Shop blanket. That's my little end. Mm -hmm. I, like, just knit it into it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I started the Sweet Shop blanket with that same yarn. And this is how far I am. So, it's getting there. I started this yesterday. I did not knit very much yesterday because at the end of the day, we decided to play Uno No Mercy. Show them No Mer Mercy. And I kid you not, it took us almost, a while. Almost three hours mm -hmm. to finish I just, this game. I didn't play with them. I, I was up in my room cross stitching and they were being very rowdy <laughs> while three they hours. played the game. Was almost it fun? three hours. It was. Everyone agrees they would play it again. But okay, so we always make house rules when we play games. And for this one, it says on the box that you should have a 25, like if you get 25 cards or more in your hand you're out and we're like that's boring that's showing a mercy and we're like no we're not gonna do that this is no mercy <laughs> <laughs> so we did that and i ended up winning oh did you yes. oh okay partially because holden let me win but at this point it's almost three hours yeah so they're ready to be done he right? could have he could have played so so the 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 thought is now if you guys play again you'll have the we'll 25. have one no 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 not 25 because we had one time where we had a um chain of plus whatever is going and it got up to plus 56 oh okay. so just the fact of that alone 25 is not high enough for that game in our opinion but we also so you'll pick your own cap. we're gonna we're gonna go higher than mm -hmm. that i said it should probably be about 50 because we did get a couple which we already have a bunch of cards in our hands you know mm -hmm. but um i said we should probably go about 50 because like some of the um, pluses added up to like 30 something so that person would have been out oh, pretty gotcha. much you know what I so mean so if you play so, uno no mercy and you use house rules leave us a comment let us know <laughs> now mind you I found this game on a whim um on Instagram on one of the reels and oh, I was like I need, it, I need it I need it I need it and I told my mom and she got me over for Christmas she <laughs> found it it took her forever to find it so. oh okay so, so it's a, is it an old I thought it was a new no game. it's a brand new game oh, it's hard to game. find it came out this year oh, like okay. not this year you know 2023 mm -hmm. yeah but anyway so my yarns are pound of love in the forest green and gray 
It looks teal on the camera, it but it's, it's, green. it's green. Yeah. Yeah, it's just their dark green. I'm not sure what colors they actually are. Like I said, I bought them years ago at this point. But I did go down to a US 10, which is a 6 millimeter. So, mm -hmm. it's getting there. Oh, and this is one of my project, project keepers from Julie. Mm -hmm. It's Zelda. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fun. But, yeah. So, hopefully. So, that's your last project of this week, too? Yes. All and right. I do believe... I need to measure this so I know how many squares I actually need because the pattern doesn't go up to a queen size blanket like he wants. So I need to figure out how well, the size of this, you know, to measure how big I actually need it. So mm -hmm. that's why this got cast on so early. But I do think I'll be able to get it done by Christmas, which is my new goal. So, but I also need to do it without him knowing. That, that's the big goal. He, he cannot know. Yeah. All right. Because then it'll be like a complete shock. Because he has no faith in me knitting this for him. <laughs> At this point, he said, you're never going to knit me that blanket. I'm mm -hmm. like, mm, okay. So, it won't it won't stay in this bag, obviously. But right now, it's like hidden in here. He doesn't. Everything's on the ground. Whatever. I give up. <laughs> Anyways, it, I have a bigger bag for it, which the rest of the yarn is in right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so I pulled a bag because it's going to be a cast on today. <laughs> Look, oh. she's wrapping stuff too. I am. Not I just me. That. Oh. Um, <laughs> so I'm in this bag. This was, I think, I think this was my first project bag ever. Um, well, like, Mountain State Stitches, wasn't it? Yep. It was a Mountain State Stitches bag. I think she had not had her shop open long. And I think that, like, because Crazy Sock Lady was one of the first podcasts I ever watched. And I think she said, like, my friend, Jenny, her name's Jenny, mm -hmm. right, um, is open to shop on Etsy, and I went there, and I purchased this. Her so. bags are really nice, but she doesn't really, like, have a steady... Well, she does it when like, she can, um, right? Yeah, like, she doesn't have a steady amount of bags in mm -hmm. the shop. A yeah. constant. Yeah. So this is a, it's actually a holiday or Christmas um, wintry bag, and it's got the pretty polka dot mm -hmm. inside. Um, and... This is what I have left over from a pair of fingerless mitts. It's Malabrigo Rios in the aquamarine colorway. And I ended up gifting those um, fingerless mitts to my sister-in-law and she quickly asked for a ribbed hat. <laughs> so I purchased another skein because I didn't know. I knew I needed more yarn than that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wind this up and I'm going to cast on a ribbed hat for her today. <laughs> um, her birthday is in February and she said if you... You could please give that to me before my birthday. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> When's her birthday again? February 13th. Oh, okay. And she also, in addition to a hat to match those fingerless <laughs> mitts, she asked for another pair of fingerless, fingerless mitts and another hat out of hot pink and red yarn. She said she wants it marled. <laughs> she said like this, I want it all marled together. <laughs> and uh, she said, and if you give me those three things for my birthday, then you don't have to buy me anything else. Which I thought was hilarious. And um, <laughs> and she said, um, what did she say? But if you get them to me early, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> well, so, does she still like do the <laughs> crossing guard thing? Did no, not crossing guard. She does what recess she does? duty. Oh, okay. Recess Why duty at her kids' school. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think she does it for several grades. So I think she's mm. outside oh, for, gosh. yeah, for, a, you know, at least a couple periods. Yeah. Um, so... So that's going to be a cast on today. Do you have any? I do. I didn't bring any yarn, but I do need to cast some stuff on. So, um, her, her daughter, not her, but like Kelly's daughter. Oh yeah. And daughter-in-law. They're gifts. both having babies mm -hmm. very soon. Um, one's due in February and one's due April. Mm -hmm. So I plan on knitting. Crocheted. None of them are knit. They're yeah. all crocheted. So any of the baby items on my make nine, if you have seen, are not for me. There for those two. <laughs> Just so we're this clear is not right an now. Announcement. Nope. <laughs> Last year it was. <laughs> That's funny. No one knew it until later, but yeah. it's okay. Mm -hmm. But no, this year is May 9. None of the baby things are for me. They are for them. Mm -hmm. And so I do need to make those. So I need to make the goose and the farmhouse blanket sooner yeah. than the flower and the bunny. Yeah. So because those those are the April ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the the first one's having a boy, so and she loves geese, so I was going to make her the little goose. She actually sent me that. She sent me a screenshot a long time ago, before she even knew she was pregnant. I think mm -hmm. I was pregnant with, like, Theo or something. Yeah, before you she know? was even married. Yeah, right? like, uh -huh. a long time ago, she yeah. sent me this, and mm -hmm. I saved it. 
Mm-hmm. Knowing, like, eventually she's going to have a kid. I'll make it for her then. Mm-hmm. So I, I saved it and made sure I could find it, and I did. Mm-hmm. So now I have to make that. I don't have the orange yarn, though, which means I can't start it yet. Uh-huh. But I do have the blanket yarn. So I need to start that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I have the yarn for the other stuff, too. Mm-hmm. It's just the orange I don't have, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. I'll get it. But yeah. I know. I need to pick up the hot pink and the red yarn. But I'm going to knit this hat first. <laughs> I know. Um, I need to do that because... Mm-hmm. But we are on a stash down for mm-hmm. 2024, but we'll talk about that in a minute. You want to talk about your gifts? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a couple gifts. So I got one for my brother, which, look at this box. It's so cute. This is for it my is brother. Uh-huh. I don't know where it's from, so I can't tell you. But we're going to start with his gift first. So he got me two. Oh, those are two different dye lots. It looks like, look at this. Uh-huh. That's the one I bought. Um. Anyway, so he gave me Yarn Bees Authentic Hand Dye in the Sapphire Sea. It's so pretty. I was like, I like this color, but like marled with like something similar to that or a darker blue. I'm not sure. I do have a mohair that I think I might use, but I have to like reevaluate that. So mm-hmm. he gave me these two, right? And I was like, well, if I'm going to make a sweater, I need a third. So I went and grabbed a third one. Mm-hmm. So it's so pretty though. Mm-hmm. So that's from him. And then from my mom, she gave me this book. It's the It's knit- actually a really cool book. It is. It's Knit, Fold, Pleat, Repeat. It's an Oregon. Mm-hmm. But, so there's a couple things. I don't know if I'll be able to show you the pictures very well. Because I don't want to give the patterns away. Mm-hmm. Hold on, there's one I really like, though. One I think I'm going to make really soon, actually, for my husband. There it, there is. it is. Those are pattern notes. I think... Here, I'm on the side of the yeah, camera. Yeah, okay. Look at it. So, Mm -hmm. I have a, it's a worsted weight pattern, but I have a green, yellow, and a brown that I think I may make that out of, and he's, like, a little iffy on it, so I'm like, if I knit it in those colors, I might wear it, too, you know? Mm -hmm. Plus, they're just sitting there. Mm -hmm. I was gonna make, um, sunflowers with it, but I tried the pattern. It's an old pattern that came from my grandma's sister, and I couldn't get it. Like, it wasn't working for me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... I scratched it, and I still have that yarn just sitting there. Those are neat, too. Mm-hmm. There is a really neat book. Mm-hmm. Like It is. Simple Knits, Gorgeous Garments. Yeah. So, fold. No, Knit, Fold, Pleat, Repeat. Yeah, so there's, like, the cowl. There's a couple different cowls in there. But then there's, there's like, a couple sweaters, tops. Sweaters, tank tops, blankets. Right? Like, this. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be right there. But it's somewhere in here. I haven't, like that down to look all the way through at every little thing but like there's a couple sweaters and cardigans a couple different cowls there's a scarf there's a couple different scarves actually there's this hat which I think is kind of neat but like I don't know Mm -hmm. it's like Mm -hmm. I don't know it's kind of neat I wouldn't wear it I don't wear hats though Mm mm-hmm You know, so, but then there's one other one. This headband. I love this headband. I don't know why. I don't even wear headbands. (laughs) But I love it. And then, like, what else is there? There's a scarf. The scarf's neat. Actually, I'll show you it. There's also, like, pillows. Mm Mm-hmm. Here, let me see. Can't really see and do show it very great. (laughs) There was, I really liked this one. Mm -hmm. That one's neat too. Mm -hmm. Like the construction of everything is very unique. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I do want to make some stuff out of it. Mm -hmm. There's a sweater that I really like, actually. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. It's pink. Like, I actually, I actually think I'm going to knit it. There it is. Yeah. It's so pretty. Mm, it is pretty. Mm-hmm. It's a very drapey, and I love it. Oh, and I want it. Done with this workout. We oh, no. It okay, anyways, I have a bag from her. <laughs> yeah. Part so of her Paisley Christmas Paisley loves stuff. strawberries. Mm-hmm. So this is White Rose Fiberco? Yep. It's White Rose Fiberco. She has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that below as well. Knit now, swatch later. Mm-hmm. Yep. It now swatch later. They're Paisley loves shop, strawberries. Like so, and Pay- I opened it and I showed her and she was like, oh, and tried to take it. I'm like, no, it's not yours. 
Yeah. She wasn't happy that I took it. I put one of her sweaters in it, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's Anne's sweater. It's not very far. Mm -hmm. Kind of a hot mess, too. <laughs> All right. So real quick, um, <laughs> this year, we talked about this a little bit um, before in 2023, but now it's 2024 and it's actually going into effect. Um, we are finishing up. We actually got a pool from winners today of the back to blankets and sweaters mal. So we're going to do that. And um, we're gonna we have to pick up pattern winner for our Discord group. We have a let's celebrate um, discussion thread, and we're gonna pull a pattern winner from that thread. Um, we still have one knit along left. It's the year long Caitlin Hunter Boylan Networks make along. That's gonna end on February fourteenth, I think. Fourteenth or fifteenth? Yeah. I can't remember. It's around Valentine's Day, and mm -hmm. it's isn't it below or no? Hmm? Do you have it down below? Yes, it's down below. And um, so we've got that, and there's hashtags on Instagram to go along with that. But starting now, all the rest of our knit alongs, make alongs will be hosted in the Discord group. Discord is free. We don't ask you for any money. Um, and it's, it's real simple. You don't have to have the app. You can just sign in on your computer when you feel like it. So you don't have to get constant notifications or anything. Um, but for us, especially with the way um, Instagram has started to use the um, hashtags. It's just not really effective anymore to see everything. Um, so we're just going to hold them all in the Discord group. We'd love for you to join us there. And we have some great discussions, a lot of talented knitters and crafters in the group. So come there. The link <laughs> is below. And uh, we'll be back in a week. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year.